I'm listen, from man. now on, don't nobody talk to me directly. You understand? You got business with me. You talk to Huey. Huey, you talk to me. welcome back to my channel my name is alera buttercup follow me on instagram alera buttercup and today what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you two sunglasses that i bought and i want you to help me choose the one to keep so first of all let me give you a little background of what i wanted for sunglasses okay i was looking for i love big bold sunglasses I was looking for something dark and big and bold. So I have two to choose from. Um, I've got one Valentino sunglasses and I've got one Linda Farrow sunglasses. So I think I'm kind of leaning towards one, but you know, let's see. Let's check them out and let's try them on. So let's start with the Valentino sunglasses, which I got from sunglass sunglass hut is it sunglasses hut or sunglass hut okay i got this on sunglass hut this was one of the cheapest places i found these and i got these sunglasses because i saw emily in paris was it second season of emily in paris and she wore the white or creamish ones and they looked really nice so i thought to myself i want to try on the black ones and see if I like them because I've got some white um, sunglasses. I've got Balenciaga uh, white sunglasses. I can't remember what they're called. Don't ask me what anything is called. I've also got um, the Gucci um, hexagon sunglasses. So I knew I didn't want white or cream. So let's check out these black Valentino sunglasses. Put it on the camera. Okay, so it comes in the valentino box you see that yeah so it comes in the valentino box uh you know valentino colors are typically red and then it comes with another case inside there and inside is the valentino red as well and valentino on that on the cover so this is what the sunglasses look like they're an interesting interesting shape i love this shape and i thought it really looked good in emily in paris and that but the thing is i felt like she had this she has a smaller head because she's a kind of like petite person so i thought let me try and see if these are gonna be oversized or not so i'm gonna try them on on camera now so here we go How do you like these i re i really like these but i've noticed it's not really going round here my ear is not sitting really comfortably on my ear but look at that the shape is really interesting it's got is the dark kind of black look that i'm going for and um yeah um i i like these it's just here i just feel like they can get uncomfortable and you you're not going to be able to wear them very often um it's got this uh the valentino stud here which i like and i think it's got it on the um handle as well there and yeah i i i, I like these a lot um but the thing is as I said, it doesn't really go around my ear. If I'm gonna keep these, I'm gonna take them to an opticians for them to kind of straighten this. Uh, they apply some heat and they straighten this bit a little bit more so that it then fits around the ear. But yeah, um, once I do that, then I can't take these back. So yeah, I, I really love them. They're interesting shape. Uh, you will get compliments with these. And um, let's try the Linda Farrow ones. So the Linda Farrow comes in their box because I bought it directly from their shop, Linda Farrow. Um, 
first of all you get one of these it looks really luxurious because it's black and gold i love black and gold i've got gold black and white those are my colors i think this is the receipt in here uh i'm not going to open that yet but yeah it comes in that envelope and then you get i must tell you this feels more luxurious than the um valentino sunglasses already because this feels heavy i don't know what's inside uh, so you've got the linda farrow box and let's see what's inside here okay then you've got another box inside uh which has this uh cross grain leather which really this is like luxury to be honest how many boxes are gonna be <laughs> in this um okay so we've got like a a, a case in there it doesn't it's not really protective because it's just like velvety and it's got linda farrow at the bottom there um let's see what else is in there so it's got this case which is good which you can travel with but when i travel i usually travel with four five sunglasses so this case isn't going to carry all of it it's just going to you know cause you know take more space in my luggage when i've got clothes to pack okay so i don't think i'll be traveling with this i wonder what's underneath uh the box here then oh okay so underneath here you've still got some this is what this is what separates luxury from non-luxury okay so you've got um something to tighten your sunglasses if they get loose got a little um cleaner thingy and then you've got like a little linda farrow leaflet in there okay i like this because you can put this on your dresser and it looks good already so let's go straight into the sunglasses itself i really like this one when i saw it online i loved it straight away so let's have a look boom oh i like these these are these these are this this is the size i was going for massive big overstated i love this already so let me try this on <laughs> no one talk directly to me do not talk to me directly okay you talk to huey huey talks to me <laughs> that's what we're that's what i'm saying like when you wear this it's like bougie oh winner winner <laughs> lovely i i loved this it's also an unusual shape um it's just mm. It's, it, it shows that it's luxury. I, I wanted these really big bug-eyed ones. So now the Valentino isn't looking so oversized anymore. So yeah, um, I like them. I like these. Uh, so let me just excuse me while I just admire myself on camera. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Bouge bougie these are a little bit more expensive than the valentino uh, let me just show you what is got on here so it, this is called bardo bardo how you say it i don't know i'm not gonna pretend but um it's um it's got the three linda farrow dots here I, I feel like i've seen this before i think celine's got it but i think it's in a different configuration um in here it's got linda Arrow, if you can see in black and gold as well and um yeah it just it feels really comfortable um it this is what i i i wanted and i got it so i think without even asking you the question i think i've got my answer i love these i feel like i'm gonna keep these they just it just feels a little bit more luxury because let's let's face it it's twice the price of the valentina so um but yeah uh i'm happy with these and i'm gonna keep these and probably take the valentino back or maybe keep the valentino <laughs> as well um 
let's just see i'll decide by tomorrow if i'm gonna keep it or not so yeah um if you want this linda farrow website i'm gonna link everything below and um it's uh it you won't regret buying these i i really really recommend these but yeah thank you for watching um i've just started my channel so i'm still learning you know knowing what to do so like this and subscribe and you will get loads of other content like fashion homeware um diy and things like that I, i'm big on those so that is what my channel is so if you like to see more like and subscribe okay i'll see you next time